in this crypto review we are looking at the theta token as well as the theta project now a lot of people here on the channel have been requesting a review of the theta coin and we're going to jump into that in just a second but before i do i just want to quickly say something we are not sponsored in any way in making these videos we have no bias in terms of the content that we put out around cryptocurrencies and we really are trying to compare the tokenomics between one crypto project and the next so the, the views that we express in here are completely unbiased and where we do hold token, uh, we are absolutely transparent about that. So with that said, I hope you enjoy this video. Before we jump into this video, I just want to ask you a really big favor. I need you to click on that like button and turn it blue because it helps us with the YouTube algorithm. So if you can go ahead and click on the like button now. So full disclosure, I uh, don't own any Theta token. Um, and in fact, this is the first time I've really taken a deep dive into looking at what the project is about, even though I've seen it hovering around in the sort of top 50, top 40 cryptocurrencies uh, on coin market cap. I've never really taken a look at it. So this was a really great um, opportunity for me to take a deep dive in and see exactly what's going on. So look at the graph, you can see that Theta token had a hell of a run up here. Uh, during the early part of this year and of course it's uh, like most cryptocurrencies taken a bit of a beating in this last while and that has a lot to do with the fact that the entire crypto market is down so I definitely don't think that's a reflection necessarily on Theta itself. Taking a look at the token a couple of things that you may want to know is the coin is a Theta it's uh, spelt T-H-E-T-A the symbol is also Theta and if you want some more information on the token on the project you want to go and have a look at thetatoken.org. Now, you'll hear that I said uh, look at the project as well as look at the token because they are basically two different things. And I'll explain that in a little bit more detail later on. So the start date or official start date for the project was the 1st of March 2019. I do believe they had an initial um, coin offering that went uh, public a little bit earlier, but the actual um, testnet went live on the 1st of March 2019. The current market cap sitting at 5.7 billion, uh, fully diluted is also 5.7 billion. The price right now, 5.79, lowest it's been at 0.04. Of course, I have uh, rounded that up. So it was in fact 0.00398 or something, but we round off to 0.04. Uh, the high price achieved is 15.90. So it's down quite a bit of those high prices, but pretty much like the rest of most crypto uh, currencies. They have a massive, <laughs> massive Reddit following at 3.3 million. In fact, a lot stronger than many tokens above them. And of course, they've got that strong Twitter following there at 185. And they're currently ranked number 20 in terms of all the cryptocurrencies. And that ranking is uh, obviously looking at market cap. Now, coming into some of the tokenomics. Now, of course, guys, I go on whatever data I can collect. There are... A lot of differences between the different projects and some projects actually do provide more data than others um, and so I, I literally have to scour through all of the project data and see what I can collect. So the first thing is token type. Uh, it is obviously a token and it is a token for the Theta network which I'm going to come back and describe in a little bit more de detail just now. Protocol is their own protocol is Theta. They actually initially launched on the ERC20 protocol uh, which is of course Ethereum. Uh, they have since, I believe, gravitated or in the process of gravitating completely to their own protocol. The proof of uh, proof type is proof of stake. Uh, I couldn't find any data on the algorithm. Uh, they're currently on the Ethereum blockchain, but I do believe the transition is underway to a full uh, move onto the Theta uh, blockchain. I couldn't find any details for the uh, block time. However, circulating supply is, you know, pretty much what is out there is the total supply and the max supply at the moment which uh, of course is uh, 1 billion tokens. Now looking at the market dominance, they currently have a 0.36% share of, in, of all cryptocurrency market cap. And the ROI since launch, get this, uh, 3662.61. So if you invested uh, at uh, 0.04 cents, you would be very happy right now, even with the massive losses that have occurred. Now coming to the holders, again, like I said, guys, I'm working with the data that I can access. Unfortunately, there is no consistency amongst these tokens. So a lot of guys on the token projects are putting out data and others are not. So this is one of the examples where there's limited data. So there's currently 2.5 million uh, addresses of which 21,000 are active. Now I've got to say straight off the bat, having reviewed 
possibly close on uh, three or four hundred cryptocurrencies at this point. Um, and that is relatively low in terms of uh, total number of addresses versus what's active in the last 24 hours. But it, it is no reflection on the token itself. It's just something that's worth noting. Now, coming on to the sentiment. So this is where things start to get a little bit interesting. So on uh, the Theta profile, we have a 5.96 uh, total score out of 10, uh, which is just slightly above average. Uh, this is comprised of 6.5 out of 10 for development. Uh, they're getting 6.5 out of 10 for sentiment. They're getting 10 out of 10 for community. I don't think I've actually seen that before. And that has a lot to do with that massive, massive Reddit following. They got 0 0.9 uh, for awareness. They've got 6 out of 10 for credibility and 7.2 out of 10 for volume. So overall on the sentiment scores, they're actually doing pretty well. It looks like a pretty well-managed little project. And uh, there's a couple of things that I think are really good about the project, which I'm going to touch on in just a second. Now, looking at the price points, guys, I just need to make a point before we do a deep dive into the price analytics. Now, the price projections, guys, these are not my price projections. Please don't give me silly comments in the comment section down below. I get it on every video I do. This is a computer generated price model. And what it does, it takes into account a number of data points. It looks at market cap, it looks at market dominance, it looks at circulating supply, it looks at the moving averages over 24 hour, all the way back to 52 week moving averages if that's available. And then it forecasts using sentiment. So it takes into account things like the number of social media mentions, takes into account those Twitter followings, it takes into account Reddit, Facebook, all the rest, right? And so basically what it then does is through this algorithm, it gives a price projection. Now guys, these price projections obviously are not set in stone. This can change drastically over time. Uh, as we know, cryptocurrency is very volatile and very sentiment driven. So these prices could definitely shake up very quickly. But I do think it is worth looking at the pricing and at least having some idea of where the project may be going. So on the computer generation modules, uh, you look at 2028 at a price of 2571 uh, and the computer module definitely predicting a general upward trend. So I think take it with a pinch of salt, but it is worth noting and I think it is a nice metric to have on hand to have a look at. Now, the next thing we look at is unique uh, properties, unique uh, selling proposition, as we like to call it. Now, the reason why we look at this is, guys, for the most part, almost every cryptocurrency is doing the same thing. It's blockchain, decentralization, yada, 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 right? So what we're trying to do is we're trying to establish what is different from one currency to the other? What is different from one project to the next? What sets one token apart from the last token? And this is where things start to get pretty interesting because as I said, I've probably done a couple of hundred reviews at this point. And for the most part, most of the cryptocurrencies and projects and tokens do the exact same thing. A lot of them are based on the Ethereum protocols and they're essentially not bringing anything unique to the market. And so we believe that for something to succeed long term, there has to be uh, some kind of utility that's unique. And I think there is something interesting behind this project. So what Theta is doing differently to everybody else is that they're essentially a blockchain that is powered and is network a network that is purpose built and powered for video streaming. The Theta mainnet operates as a decentralized network in which users share bandwidth and computing resources on a peer-to-peer -peer basis to obviously help streaming services. Now, this project uh, is uh, obviously advised by Steve Shen, who's a co-founder of YouTube, and Justin Kahn, who is the founder of Twitch. So I think two very big uh, video heavyweights in there that definitely lend a lot of credibility to the project. Also, I like the fact that they're figuring out how to use unused computer resources. So essentially, if you're streaming services and you have additional bandwidth, this peer-to-peer -peer system will basically allow the system to share some of your bandwidth and give everybody a better experience. And in return for that, people basically doing that earn Theta tokens. Now, of course, in addition to buying and staking the Theta tokens, you can actually earn them by doing the streaming service. So it's a little bit different from mining. And I actually think it, provide, it, it's, it provides something of real value and something very unique. And so I actually quite like the project. I think uh, where they're heading is a, is a great concept. I think there's real utility, there's real purpose. And actually, this is probably going to climb into my top 10 uh, crypto projects that I'm looking at at the moment. So I think it's a very, very interesting project. Now, having said that, guys, I have to come out with a big fat disclaimer. Um, 
because you know YouTube and everybody's cracking down on crypto spam at the moment. They cra they really cracking down hard on uh, the different crypto channels, and with good reason because I think this is important to understand. Speculation on any cryptocurrency is a high risk activity, and it should not be confused with investing. I think this is a big mistake that people are making. Uh, the videos that we create on this channel obviously are aimed at discussing, comparing uh, the different tokens, and we want to provide you with some background information on the tokens themselves and really pair them against each other so that you can make an informed decision. However, these data points should not be considered as fundamentals for investing. With stocks, we have fundamentals. With crypto, this space is still evolving, and I don't think anybody can say that even tokenomics are serious fundamentals to base your investing decisions on. So obviously we just want to make sure that you understand that cryptocurrency is highly speculative at best and obviously anybody who tells you that it's not is absolutely lying to you. If you're going to put money into cryptocurrency, guys, please don't put money in that you're not prepared to lose. So that's our disclaimer and if you did enjoy this video, please help us by clicking on the like button. When you turn that button blue for us, and if you on a mobile device, I think it actually turns black apparently. Uh, go and click on it and let me know what happens in the comment section down below. But the YouTube algorithm apparently likes it when you do that and helps us get these videos out. So really please do help us by clicking on that like button. And if you are new to this channel and you're watching this video, 97% of you guys watching this video right now are not subscribed to our channel, which is absolutely crazy because we provide great great content here on the channel. We review stocks, we review cryptocurrencies, and we also teach people about investing in real estate. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and uh, we promise you, you will not be disappointed. Before you go, I'd like to invite you to subscribe to our channel and join the Global Money Tribe. And because I know you need a little bit of extra motivation every month, I'm going to be giving away a signed copy of my book, The Money Secret, as well as some really cool channel merch. So if that's not a big enough motivation to subscribe, Come and subscribe for the content because every single day we're adding absolutely great content teaching you to invest, save and manage your money situation.